Carbonated water, also known as sparkling water or seltzer, is made by dissolving carbon dioxide in water and creating carbonic acid. In other words, it's water with bubbles. Although researchers say that this bubbly beverage is just as hydrating as its flat counterpart, some myths still persist. Research has found a connection between phosphoric acid from carbonated cola drinks and low mineral density in women. But seltzer does not contain phosphoric acid. And a 2006 study found the link to bad bones only with colas and not other carbonated soft drinks, including seltzer. This rumor is based on evidence that sugar-sweetened carbonated drinks are associated with kidney stone formation. But there is no evidence to suggest that seltzer leads to kidney stones. In fact, drinking more water, whether it be flat or sparkling, is recommended for people suffering from or with a history of kidney stones. Seltzer is slightly more acidic than still water, but not as acidic as sodas or some juices so it is seen as a safer alternative for your teeth. One study by the University of Birmingham showed that flavored seltzer is more acidic than non-flavored and therefore potentially corrosive. But the most damage to your enamel is seen with beverages that are sugar sweetened and carbonated, like soda. There's no evidence to show that seltzer causes any damage to the stomach or stomach acid. In fact, an Italian study showed that drinking carbonated water actually helped relieve indigestion and constipation. An issue that is associated with carbonated water is the experience of gas and burping. For this reason, seltzer is not recommended for people with acid reflux or irritable bowel syndrome. And carbonated water is different than tonic water, club soda, and mineral water, which may contain sodium, vitamins, or sweeteners. So it's important to read the label.